I truly believe that Justin Trudeau uh, regards himself as a global anti-Trump. And if there's a gun shooting in America, Trudeau is one of the first to tweet about it, even if it has no, uh, no connection at all uh, to Canada. Trump, uh, Trudeau makes foreign policy statements in contraposition to the U.S. It, it's really so self-conscious that he's trying to be the anti-Trump. I don't know if it's working for him in garnering world support, the third world behind Justin Trudeau, but it sure is messing up our own government, isn't it? What do the, these access to information uh, reports say about this tweet and the havoc it caused? Well, Ezra, I mean, you literally wrote the book on Trump and Trudeau and how Trudeau just sort of tries to do the opposite of Trump. Uh, here we saw a real example of the consequences that words and actions have. So as we all know, Trudeau was virtue signaling. He wanted uh, to get attention and, and the spotlight uh, after tr uh, Trump put forth a pretty prudent, uh, maybe clunky, but pretty prudent idea to ban migrants coming from war-torn countries with Islamist governments. Uh, so Trudeau, with virtue signaling, jumped on Twitter, put out that infamous tweet, and the access to information request uh, that we got, that Post Media received, just shows how chaotic, the chaos and confusion that this caused throughout the federal government. So the, we saw emails um, from the immigration department itself, who seemed to be confused as to whether or not the Canadian government was actually going to be changing its policies towards refugees coming from the U.S. Or, or, or so-called refugees, asylum seekers. Uh, there was confusion about how to respond to international media requests. And we saw the reaction coming from Canadian diplomats posted around the world and the reaction that they were getting in their outposts in foreign capitals with a surge of inquiries and questions coming up about whether or not Canada was actually creating a new policy whereby we were going to accept migrants who had been explicitly rejected from our neighbor and our closest ally, Ezra. So you can just see the the, the, the chaos um, that Trudeau's, you know, short-sighted um, virtue signaling had on the federal government. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.